Like, I really don't understand how people could really be surprised that Cardi B is getting a divorce with Offset. She told you guys she's a hoe. She told you there was some hoes in this house. She told you that she doesn't cook or clean. See, she told you all of that. So how y'all gonna be surprised that Offset is cheating? How y'all gonna be mad at Offset for cheating? Cardi B got a whole daughter. But she's out here making songs, talking about some, there's some holes in this house. There's holes in this house. What kind of shit is that? Of course, Offset gonna cheat on her. She doesn't cook. She doesn't clean. What the, what the fuck did you guys expect? All she got is that wet ass pussy. That wet ass pussy ain't gonna do nothing. That shit gonna make us come for like 15 seconds and that's it. That's it. That's it. It's like, is that all you got, Cardi B? Is that all you can do, Cardi B? Your wet ass pussy? Like, you really thought that was gonna do something? You thought that was doing something? I'm talking about something. There's some hoes in this house. There's hoes in this house. How about now? There's divorce in this house. Divorce in this house. There's divorce in this house. How about you make a song like that? Buzin. Get mama Cardi B. Shawin. Pelin vermin fini. Coco mama. Cardi B should be apologizing to Offset for allowing him to cheat on her. It's her fault. It's her fault. But everybody acting like Offset is wrong. Offset is not wrong. Offset is a king. That man is a king. Us men, we are tired. We are sick and tired of women treating us like dogs. Okay? We are tired of that. Look at, look, look at, um, what's her name? Entanglement. The bitch that did the entanglement. I forgot her name. Will Smith's wife? Will Smith's whole ass wife? Whatever her name is. I don't know her name. But yeah, look at her. She cheated on Will Smith in his own house with her son's friend. That's some nasty ass shit. And all the women, they have shit to say about that. They said, yes, bitch, you go ahead. Cheat on that nigga. Yes, yes, on some nasty shit. All right, so now Offset cheated. Y'all mad? Nah, fuck that. I'm riding with Offset. Offset is a black king, period. And a lot of people are feeling bad for Cardi B. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't feel bad for Cardi B. I am proud of Offset. Cardi B was a stripper, so I always wondered why Offset would marry a stripper. You know, Cardi B used to have niggas run trains on her in New York for money and all types of shit. Cardi B used to drug men in hotel rooms and rob them. You know, Cardi B told us this. She used to drug men and rob them when they fall asleep in hotel rooms. Cardi B should be locked up right now. If it was a man who was doing that to a female, he would be locked up right now. But since Cardi B is a woman, you know, women get to do whatever the fuck they want and get away with it. So, you know, she, she, she didn't get any backlash from that, you know? But Cardi B cannot think she could do all this fuck shit to, to men and then get away with it. You know, karma is a bitch and karma is going to come for you. Whatever you do in this life will always come back around one way or another. Straight up. She used to drug men in hotel rooms and rob them. That's fucked up. And you got, you got females out here riding for her talking about some, ah, it's okay. That's her past. That's her past. Let it be a nigga who do, who do some shit like that to a female. Drug them and rob them and shit like that. That nigga would have been in jail. All Cardi B been doing is promoting whole activities. That's all she been doing. She, been, she just been promoting whole activities. She's telling women they don't have to cook or clean to get a ring. Right? Talking about some, I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you how I got this ring. How about you make a song how you lost that ring? Huh, Cardi? I bet you won't do that. I bet you won't do that, Cardi. How about you make a song about how, how you lost the ring? Talking about some, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I got this wet ass pussy. That wet ass pussy ain't gonna do shit. And I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much money you got. You better be cooking and cleaning. You are a woman. You gonna pay somebody else to come clean the house. If you pay somebody else to come clean the house and cook for me, I'm gonna start liking that person. Because what they're doing, I like that. I like women who cook and clean, especially Haitian men like me. We love women who cook and clean. That's attractive to us. Your wet ass pussy is, might be wet and everything, but um, it's, 
it's not doing it for us. It's not doing. It's not. It's n it's not hitting. Mm -mm. You know what I mean, that's not enough. That's not enough for us. I need you to make some bun and pesé with pickles. I need you to make some diri collé avec lalo. I want you to make some diri diri blanc sauce pois kalalu combo. I want you to make that soup jumu for me. I want you to make that Haitian spaghetti for me. What you talking about? You gonna hire another person to do it? No. I'm gonna fuck that other person. Bring him in the house. Bring them in the house. We gonna have sex. Straight up. Bring them in the house. And I'm gonna flirt with her. And she gonna like me. And we gonna have sex. We might, we might even fuck around and have a baby. In that house. What you talking about? Of course I'm gonna cheat on you. You don't cook or clean. What, you, what are you doing? You nasty. And hey, we call that cochon. You are a cochon marron, Cardi B. You better be cooking and cleaning. Like, what, what is you doing? People really think money can solve everything. No. Money is not the answer to everything. There's some qualities you need to have in order for me to even put a ring on your finger. Straight up. Talking about some I don't cook and, or clean, bitch. Oh, I got money. I could hire somebody to do it. Well, hire somebody to do it. Go ahead, hire somebody to do it, and I'll give them a baby too. Hmm? We're going to have a threesome in this bitch, right? Because you're going to hire a female to cook and clean for us, and I like that. So I'm going to flirt with her to see what's up. And if she's with it, we're going to have sex, and we're going to have some babies in this bitch. And you're going to be mad. You're going to be mad. You're going to be sad. But guess what? You don't cook or clean. You think your money is the answer to everything. Fuck your money, bitch. I need I need you to be cooking and cleaning. Fuck you talking about. That's sexy. Like, I put it on everything. A woman who knows how to cook and clean, especially food, Haitian food, is the key to my heart, my nigga. I promise you. A, a woman who women who know how to cook and clean and make some good soujumu, some good ziri blanc, ziri sauce pois, ziri blanc sauce pois noir, whoosh, kalalu combo, legume, oh bon dieu. Even thinking about that shit, I'm wet. Guy, come on, that shit is sexy. I need that in my life. I want it. I gotta have that. So of course he gonna cheat on you. And you can't be mad, Cardi. You need to start cooking and cleaning. The next relationship you go you go into, you better cook and clean for that man. Stop hiring people to cook and clean for him. Now Offset done got a whole baby on the way while, while he was in the house with you. <laughs> Who knows if he didn't fuck that maid that you hired to cook and clean for him? Who knows if he didn't fuck that bitch? Yeah, you women really got it fucked up. And you know what got on my nerves the most after she put out that uh, wet ass pussy song? She even had the hood rats, the little poor little girls in the hood talking about some I don't cook or clean. Like, bitch, if you don't cook or clean and you live in the projects, who gonna cook and clean for your husband? The roaches and the rats in the projects? Who gonna cook and clean for your husband? Yeah, I see Cardi B doing it because she got money, but you don't got money to hire a maid. You a little hood rat in the projects. What you doing? Talking about you don't cook or clean. Who gonna feed your husband? McDonald's? Huh? Who gonna feed your husband? The roaches in the projects? The rats? The mice that's running in your house? They gonna clean for your husband? Y'all tripping, man. For real. Y'all letting this social media shit get to your head. And it, it ain't it. I'm telling you that right now. It's not it. You don't cook or clean, bitch. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat today and tomorrow. Forever. Cardi B's lucky that he cheated on her with a with a girl. Some other man will cheat on you with a nigga. For example, it's this nigga here. This 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 one's a different story, but um, you know, yeah, some some men will cheat on you with a man. With a man who cooks and clean for them. It's crazy out here. Yeah, you women better get it together. All y'all do is go on, on OnlyFans and sell y'all pussy pictures for $25. It's just crazy. Like, boy, y'all ain't never gonna find a man to marry y'all. Straight up. This new generation is fucked up. And by the way, my side chick just cooked me some good-ass food. 
some ziri blanc with sauce, avocado, right? Bun and pizzi, piclis. That's my side chick. You see what I'm saying? You think I'm ever going to cheat on my side chick? Nah. I love my side chick. Fuck all that. My main bitch could never. She could never. That wild, man. Y'all the real cheaters.